Hey everyone, and as I am still slowly working my way through house move boxes and things, one thing that is possibly coming to an end is our Champions League dream. Don't get me wrong, the tie after the uh, first leg is perfectly perfectly balanced, nil nil after a home draw uh, with Inter Milan. But I, I just wonder if it's going to be a bit of a bridge too far to try and get a result at the San Siro. Let's go. Yes, everyone, hello and welcome back. Now, where else to start but with the first leg? And as you can see, it was very much attack versus defence. We didn't even manage to get a single shot on target. But to be fair, for all their shots, they had a very relatively low XG. And that's because most of their shots from Nicola Barella from outside the box. And as you can see, Nalmov was more than a match for them. Um, we have sandwiched that between a 1-0 win in the league against, um, was it Spartak Subotka with uh, Guler scoring in his first game for the club. And then we've literally just beaten uh, Lados Lucani, Luciani 1-0. Uh, we rotated a little bit and then I went to go and get, went to go make a drink and came back and saw it was 82 minutes and it was still 0-0. Uh, so I made five changes, brought on Petr Ratkov and uh, he, he ran through on goal, got tackled by a couple of players, and it, the keeper got it. The keeper then um, played it forwards. We won the ball straight away. Patrick then did exactly the same, played it in behind, and this time Ratkov scored in the 86th minute, and we won 1-0. So he's going to start today. I'm not going to go defensive, but I'm not going to go positive either. I am a little bit reluctant to go out and literally just try and defend for 90 minutes, because I think if we try and do that, we are just basically just asking for uh, for Inter to score and just inviting the pressure on, really. So for the team today, we've had a few injuries lately. Um, you might have seen that Topic was injured um, during the Inter game, the first leg, which meant that we finished the last well played the last fifteen twenty minutes with with ten men, and we still managed to do all right. But unfortunately, he's still out. So that means that we're going to probably bring. Um, Terzic, I've had enough of. He was shocking in the last game. And he's been poor in pretty much every game he's played in. So he he, he is going to... I've accepted about four bids, three bids for him, about 900k. So hopefully he, he is finally going to gonna leave the club. No, I'm sorry, mate. That sounds really harsh, but I do hope you do finally leave. Now, Patrick's still not happy because, basically, I don't think I touched on this much. He wanted to be played as a ball-winning midfielder, even though he's been doing really well as our Segundo Valente. And I was like, does it really matter where you're playing? You know, as long as you're contributing to the team and you're playing really well and I didn't want to change anything. He's like, nope, not happy. But I brought him off the... No, I played him last time and he got the assist. So I, I want to start him again today, even though he's not 100% pleased with us. Um, and I think... We're going to leave it with that with Zanotti van der Karp. Garcia McNulty, who's made a solid start to his time at the club. Um, in fact, we have been playing him actually as a ball-playing defender. Um, I'm not going to play a high defensive line because I think that's just asking for Martinez to, to get in behind. Uh, Jovic, Ardegula, Patrick, Stepanovic. Do you want to go with Stepanovic over Balic? I think we do. And then Jovic, Machetic, and, uh, and Ratkov, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. Jovic needs to see him pick it up a little bit. Machetic, we were talking about this last time. Yeah, so since he joined on loan from Chelsea, technically joined on loan from Chelsea, he, that's not right. He's made more than five games. Five, oh, no, was he injured? He might have been injured. I can't remember. Something's really going wrong with his stats because he's got two goals in the Champions League. And it's not registered either of them. Oh, it's completely thrown off his, his stats. That's really annoying. Really annoying. Yeah, I think we stick with that. And Miladinovic is developing really well. So we're quite happy for him just to basically just take Terzic's place. It's safe to say, everyone. Like... We're just going to approach this how we have every single game in you know in this competition since we basically got to the like the you know the the knockout playoff just to get to the league phase. 
we've just literally just enjoyed the ride, really. Everything from then has been a win. You know, beating Fenerbahce, beating Monaco, you know, narrow losses to, to Spurs and to, and to Real Madrid. You know, I think we can take a lot of pride from that. And, you know, if this is where it ends here at the San Siro, so be it. But you never know. You never know. But yeah, I think if we were to just defend for 90 minutes, just try and shut up shop, I think we'd just be asking for trouble, really. Um, it's just inviting them on. And no matter how good Naumov has been, eventually he's going to get beaten if Barella keeps taking shots from outside the box or we just let Martinez through. Oh, Shapanovic. Nice. Arda, nice. Machetic. Interesting, interesting. I don't mind the ambition. But it is the first shot of the game. I'm going to try and keep everyone's morale up as much as possible. I literally said to them, the assistant recommended it, I think. I just said, you know what? We've got all the pressures on them. And most of the players seemed to respond really well. It was basically just like, you know, go out and enjoy yourselves. And they, they seem quite happy with that. And hopefully, I mean, you can see, like, with that little bit of encouragement as well, everyone's morale is brilliant. Now, Esposito is back, just about coming back from his little injury that he picked up before the last game. Um, He, picked, he just picked up, like, a little, some sort of knock ankle injury or something like that. So imagine the scenes if we bring him off the bench and he scores a winning goal against his current parent club, but soon to be ex-club, because obviously he's joining us for free in the summer. Here's Julian Rykoff. Don't want to be doing anything stupid. I don't want any penalty. Oh, wow, is it? Martinez has just hit the post. Yeah, we don't want any penalties like we did against Spurs. Yes, Zanotti, well done. A little bit of a warning there. See, that happened quite a bit, annoyingly, in the uh, the first leg. Was players just dallying on the ball and farting around and then... No, that's a poor pass. That's 1-0. And that all comes about from Jovic giving the ball away. That's 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 what happens there. Look at that. Sloppy, trying to find Stepanovic. And just like that, in a 1-0 up. But we've got a throw in pretty much straight away in a dangerous position. Rakov. I'll see him at Nolte flicks it on, but straight into the hands of Anana. And now they've found Dumfries on the camera. Now I'm off. not and Rykov makes it 2-0 just like that and that is the game gone I think I think we're going to really struggle now 2-0 down inside 30 minutes after some sloppy defending really but we'd, we'll keep we'll keep going we're not going to give up we'll keep trying come on Arda Good luck, Jokic. We just get the ball down on the floor. Stop playing head tennis. Bloody hell.
How would I want? How would I want Anselmo marking Martinez when literally on opposite? That's a great save from now on from the corner. The Arbitra's rating has been absolutely fake. Front three underperforming. Now, obviously, last time we were talking about our willingness to accept a decent bid for Ratkov, and I wouldn't say that's changed massively. He has got 20 goals all, all told so far this season. But, um, and, you know, we have to remember he's only 21 and, you know, I'm kind of expecting him to go to a big Champions League opposition and to perform. And, and, you know, he's getting chances in those games, but, you know, he's not going to basically have like a 100% success rate from those chances. He just needs more chances. But, you know, I think, you know, he's definitely not the future number uh, number nine for the club. I'm just going to take Jovic off because he's just... Absolutely stinking the place out. It was such a shocking game. And Chetic isn't playing much better, so we're going to play Miladinovic. And you know what? We're going to bring Esposito on for that man, Ratkov. Um, yeah, I don't think Ratkov is the future for that number nine, but he, don't get me wrong, he's generally very good in the league. You know, he's he's a good striker for this division. Um, but he is only 21. He might, he might improve over time, but I don't particularly foresee him as being a, a sort of... What like you know one of those big game players who you know we can kind of take all the way through to the top with us. I think he's someone who is kind of and like what Man City did when they got bought out. You know they were buying like you know Ben Jani and you know Wilfred Bonny and people like that. You know over the years, you know basically just to get them to that next step when they'd sell again and then to the next step and then they'd sell again, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think that's kind of just where we're at, really, with Ratkov. He's just that player who's going to keep us ticking over. And don't get me wrong, Esposito might be a similar level player, but I think he's certainly an upgrade on Ratkov. Just because he's a more all-round player. I think we... Um, McNulty's struggling. I think we work on Santa Chines. No, we don't. Bring on Illich. And you know what? I think as the game probably is gone, we're going to bring on Vujic. I know this might sound like quite defeatist, but we're going to bring him on. Big game for him. Let's get him in and give him a game. Give him some minutes. Massive game. Big game experience for the young lad. Great save from Namov. Honestly, Namov is such a he's been such a good keeper for us. 120k he cost us. And he's already worth 1.6 mil minimum. He, he's come on really good. He, he's definitely not the keeper that's gonna be here forever. I don't think he'll develop to that level. But he's he's brilliant for what we need at the moment this moment in time. Good block. You know what, after after it was 2-0, after 28 minutes, I thought, is this four-minute blitz going to turn into something quite embarrassing? But you know what, we've kind of recovered and resisted, really. Another great save. Another great save from Namor from Point Blank. Skriniar really should have scored that. How he didn't score is beyond me. And there's another save from Namor. Left back is definitely an area that we need to improve. I've had a couple of um, scout reports of players, but they're mostly like non-Serbian players. So, you know, he might have to suck it up for the time being and take someone like that on and just sort of have to try and balance the squad with, you know, the, the limit that we have on, on non-Serbian players. But we'll see. Gula. Whoa, Onana's made a right hash of that. And we've got a corner. He made a right hash of that deflected shot. Now it's Arda. What can he do? He floats it over. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. I've literally got nothing to lose. Literally got nothing to lose. 
just going to throw the kitchen sink at them and see if we can even get a goal and make it nervy for them. Like Gustavo Gomez, who used to be at AC Milan. Well, everyone, the journey is, is ending here. And you know what? A 2 0 defeat at the San Siro to Inter on, you know, on aggregate as well. I don't, I don't think we can be too embarrassed by that. I think it would have been naive of us and falsely optimistic to expect to do anything more, you know, when they're bringing on like some real quality off the bench. In the first game, they had like Barella, Brozovic and Soler on the uh, starting and then they brought on like um, Chalanoglu and that. You know what? I I'm not going to hammer them too Thought, you know what, we might have been close to um, achieving that first, one of those first objectives in reaching the knockout round, but it was just a little bit too far for us. I'm not counting that playoff knockout round. It, it counts when we get to the proper proper playoffs, uh, the proper knockouts. And I mean, like, you know, what's, what's the board waiting for? That? 75%, yeah. I don't mean this. I mean, the, like, so it's going to be the round of 16 now. Because that's what uh, that's what they're calling it now. So that's when it counts for us. Um, Eight point two seven mil, lovely stuff. How are the club's finances looking now? Got to be a decent little wedge. Yeah, forty k. We've actually managed to get them to uh, upgrade our um, well, let be. Basically, it got them to upgrade the youth facilities and improve the youth coaching budget. Um, so we should actually be getting our intake through soon. So we've got potentially a really good central midfielder and potentially a really good winger. So, you know, that, that that's perfect because that's, that's they're kind of like the two, two of the sort of three biggest roles for us in, 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 our, in our tactic. So we're currently sat four points clear at the top of the table. And... Um, we will be bringing it back once this splits. So we um, we've got we've got Red Star in the quarterfinal of the cup. Um, what I will do is, if it's okay, I will play all these fixtures and then we will bring it back for the playoff. Get all this done and then we'll have a group of playoff games. Hopefully, a cup final. Um, I'm just going to play the Red Star games off camera. Get them done. And uh, we'll have to obviously have the Red Star game in the playoffs and hopefully uh, some semis, cup finals, whatever. But um, yeah, the Champions League dream, not dream, it was, you know, it was a, a dream, it was a bit of a myth for us to do it this season. Uh, it has ended after that, but I don't think we can take, we can, we can be too, too, too ashamed of our run there. Um, now, uh, Ratkov is wanted by Peterborough. Where are they? Are they they're in the championship. Okay. With Thomas Frank in charge, and um, what what sort of value? You'd be happy with three point six. Basically, I want to make a decent profit on him. Look at that. So he joined us on loan. Then it was terrible. We signed him in thirty two league games, nineteen goals so far. In 17 league games, he's got 15 goals. That's really good. He's really good for this for this league, for this level. Um, I just don't know if he's... I just don't think he's the future of the club going forwards in that number nine, unfortunately. Yeah, we've got Vujic looking decent, decent prospect. So we're kind of working at getting him to work on his advanced playmaker role, but obviously he can play that secondo volante for us, hopefully. With a bit of work, he, he can become really good at that as well. So um, we're mainly getting him to work on his shooting because his, his shooting's not great. Um, what have they got him working on at the moment? Go on, let's get him working on that Segundo Volante role a bit more um, and just try and sort of round his game out a little bit. Um, get his work rate up. Get his off-the-ball movement up a little bit. He'll become a really good, good player for us. One player who has actually been doing really well and our scouts are... Bringing me back glowing reports is uh, is Alexic. He's not uprooting any trees in terms of his his match stats out on loan, but he is developing really really nicely 
into a really, really good player. Um, he's only 19, and I think when he comes back, he can slot into this this midfield quite comfortably um, as well. Obviously, we're going to have him and Arda. I'm I'm not expecting us to keep... If we can sign Arda, you know, it's a big if. I'm not expecting him to stick around for long. He's the sort of player who I think we'll sign him and then probably end up, like, selling him for hopefully like two to three times what we sign him for, which would be a lovely, lovely bit of money to bring into the team uh, and, and to the club and hopefully allow us to reinvest quite nicely. The uh, The only downside is, is that the board is still, you know what, they've been in quite a nice mood. So maybe we'll let them, uh, we'll see if they'll give us more transfer revenue. Because they, they didn't give us the club, the youth academy budget or the youth academy training. And then um, we basically like said to them, like said, actually, no, come on, can, can you do this? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. Youth is really important for this club. So it was like, oh, okay. Um, so that's kind of nice that they just basically rolled over for us. A couple of players going out on loan. So yeah, um, I will see you all very soon, everyone. Um, kind of been waffling on a little bit there. I feel like I'm I'm a bit scatty at the moment. I feel like I'm probably missing a few things. So if there's anything that you feel I'm missing and that you you wanna you wanna know a bit more on this season, let me know. But obviously things are going really well, and um, really happy with how things are developing here at the club. We have so far managed to keep Red Star at bay. Obviously we closed the gap last season. Um, to two points when, you know, the season before we were like 13 points off. So things are slowly, slowly coming together. And uh, yeah, I'm optimistic. Yeah. Right, everyone, take care. I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.